Hi guys and welcome back to another ride. Today um, I'm out on the Sherman for another ride with the side pads um, and just enjoying a bit of dry weather and the sun is out so I can't complain and I hope you guys are also getting some time to ride your wheels. In between I see in Europe snow and in the US rain and the UK rain as well. So uh, Ooh, nice sounding bike Triumph rocket <laughs> So uh, so yeah, I hope you guys get out and ride as well, but uh, So uh, in today's video, I want to talk about the new Sherman max and what you guys think about it. So uh, let's uh, Let's get on the wheel and uh, let's chat about it. I'm about uh, about 30 miles away from home on my Sherman and uh, I must say I am loving these side pads it is uh, I thought I thought it's gonna be I thought it's gonna be a uh, uh, what quite difficult to get used to but so far I've put them far apart so uh, so they're not uh, in my way most of the time but the, the thing that I like about it, in, in, there's two things that really makes the side pads stand out for me. And I've only done really, this is now my second ride on them. Well, longish ride. And I must say, the first thing is uh, the adjustability that I can do on the rear, on the rear pad, to move it up, up my calf or down my calf. So if I, if I want um, uh, a lot of braking, I could just really sort of uh, move it up higher, up, up into my calf for more comfortable. It's more comfortable as well, but it's so nice to be able to lean back. And so yeah, this is quite a, quite a sharp downhill and it's just so nice to be able to lean back. Boom! And you can stop on a dime and you can adjust it at the rear. So as you know from my previous video, I went for the Grizzler pads um, and just for that reason that they can adjust. Um, because they're two separate bits this velcro as well has been holding up really nice it just just really feels uh, that it's doing its job and then the other thing is uh, when you uh, when you uh, ride a really bumpy trail um, the pads because your my leg my shin moves forward and backwards it sort of just touches the front of the uh, front pad and um, it just keeps the wheel on this uh, on this nice plane um, it's like a boat. You know, when you get a boat on a plane, it just really cruises nicely. And this is what I've done to the Sherman as well. It just changed that characteristic of, of the wheel to make it more... You can just fine-tune it a bit. You know, it's just... You have to experience it for, your, for yourself and uh, you need to uh, just do it. So, so when you're up at speed as well and uh, you just want to get a little bit more speed, it's just that... It's like just... The touching of the front of your shins on the on the pads that 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 is really really awesome I'll show you in a minute so just to just to show you now when you when you when you're riding uh, at a nice pace this is not very fast now but you can just like and really just trim it trim trim and lean forward just into the into the into the pad also if the wheel like and jumps back you can just touch the front of the pad and it just works so nicely okay so now that I've uh, given you a uh, just a, a quick little update on the side pads and uh, you know, as I was saying in my previous video as well you know I've been holding out for such a long time not to get them on the Sherman it really makes such a big difference um, just just the, just the ride comfort and what you can get more out of the wheel but yeah Getting back to the Sherman and uh, the whole uh, intro to the video is to talk about the Sherman Max. So, uh, so firstly, I would like to know what you guys think. You know, um, Sherman or Veteran brought out the Abrams and um, from what I'm seeing, the Abrams is like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's almost like they, they, they smashed the market with the Sherman and then they brought out the Abrams and, and it doesn't, for me, from what I've seen in the videos, it doesn't look like they've, uh, 
they've really uh, made a polished product. Quite bizarre. With the massive success of the Sherman, um, the Abrams just, um, you know, um, a little bit of a weird firmware um, on launch. Again, that was fixed with, uh, with uh, what do you call it, um, a firmware that sorts that out. But um, I've seen some unboxings and some just some uh, quality checking videos of the Abrams, and uh, it's it's very plasticky, wobbly wheel, um, and it looks like it's less water resistant than uh, the my first gen Sherman. Quite bizarre. So uh, yeah, so they. Uh, it, 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 Looked like there was a lot of talk in the in the community that they're going to stop making the Sherman, and uh, then they made the uh, version two of the Sherman, and now they bring out the Sherman Max. Now, uh, for me, um, I would really like to uh, see how the Sherman Max perform. Uh, that would be really cool if they can uh, strengthen the rim, um, and I see they've got a a beefier um, motor that is. That's got more torque. More torque is always good because I think that was a, um, one of the one of the complaints. Let me just get out this rut. One of the complaints on the on the current Sherman for a lot of people that it didn't have enough torque. For me personally, I love this wheel. It's uh, it's it is it is it has got enough torque for what I want to use it for. Um, I think if you do massive trail uh, a mountain riding or you want to lean hard into the wheel to get the max out of it then uh, then then yes um, i think the current one probably doesn't have a, a, an, enough and especially on for especially for heavier riders for me it's just like a awesome wheel size uh, and weight yes it's a heavy wheel but uh, but man, as soon as you get used to it, it's it's a rock solid wheel. So if they can get more uh, torque out of the new motor, um, and you know, even if they can upgrade the the um, the pedals, so it's better pedals with spikes on, that that would be great. And then the other thing is, um, and as far as I understand, the batteries is going to be a little bit larger as well. But I'll drop all the specs up here so you guys can see. But yeah, um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Would you uh, upgrade your first gen Sherman to the Sherman Max just to get that extra torque? Or are you happy with yours? Uh, do you have a version uh, uh, two Sherman, the one with a with a uh, with a problem rim? Um, well, not a problem rim, but everyone says the rim is much softer than than the first gen one. Um, would you uh, change to the Sh Sherman Max? Drop some comments below. I'd love to hear your guys' feed, feed, feedback. And also, if you're going to buy one, you know, if you, are you, did you put a deposit down? Are you thinking of uh, changing it up and uh, going for the Sherman Max? Um, it looks like the form factor is exactly the same. Um, I hope that they can um, upgrade the tail light to be even uh, brighter. Um, and the front lights for me has been uh, spot on, really. Um, I've just uh, the other day I've adjusted it to just to sort of uh, tweak the metal a bit and it's and it's perfectly fine. But yeah, absolutely awesome. Let me know what you guys think. That is uh, the community. That's that's for me. It's probably the 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 most important because you guys have got such a, a wide range of different terrains that you guys ride. So I would like to hear what you think. Let's carry on. Okay, guys. That, that's my uh, just my quick feedback about the Sherman, Sherman Max, and uh, I uh, I'm very keen to see some uh, new riders, not new riders, but uh, the the high end riders getting on these uh, wheels to to test drive them, and I hope they uh, they can sort out um, another few things, is like the heating or the cooling to keep the wheel even uh, cooler and also uh, the weatherproofing that's for me in the UK so important uh, but yeah awesome I would love to get one <laughs> or at least ride one that's lovely okay guys well I hope you enjoyed this little quick little uh, update video and uh, I hope that you whoa 
almost went into went into that hole but yeah side pads kept my feet on the wheel so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little ride and i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i will see you on the next one thanks for watching and cheers